Welcome back to CBS News New York as we listen to Britney Spears this morning. My only wish. And if you're making your holiday list and checking it twice, it's worth taking time to go over a financial checklist with your family. Financial advisor Tom O'Connell joins us on how to get tips and get that conversation started. He is president and managing principal of International Financial Advisory Group in Parsippany, New Jersey. Great to see you, Tom. Good morning morning thanks for having me all right so they say politics religion money off limits usually at holiday gatherings so why do you think it may be the perfect opportunity to talk about finances well it's a great time because everybody's there but the one thing i would say is not having that conversation can be a lot worse than having that conversation or more uncomfortable a perfect example is my mom who uh, passed away earlier this year was in hospice for a little bit um, but not no, not having the conversation ahead of time with her knowing what she wanted to do uh, could have been a big burden on my brothers, my sister, my dad, myself for years to come. So it, it's a conversation that's so important because we need to know what mom and dad want, what grandma, grandpa want, what we want. So it, it, uh, the holiday time is a great time to do it because we're all there to have that conversation. You do make a really good point. And we do hear though about family drama during the holidays, but sure. you're saying you know it doesn't have to cause all of that. No, it does, and it can be a very pleasant conversation. Um, the one thing I would say is let's prep the family. Let's send out a text or let's send out an email or a phone call and say, hey, at some point during the day, we're going to have this conversation because we need to. It's important. Now, I would suggest you do it maybe after the kids open up all the presents and before we start having the Christmas cheer. Um, somewhere in between there, but it, it's definitely something that you can have. It can be very calm, can be very civil, uh, and it can be very constructive. And you have some possible topics that you think for sure are worth bringing up on this financial checklist. Absolutely. Uh, basic estate planning, um, long-term care planning, like I just mentioned uh, with my folks, uh, your retirement planning, uh, the things that you may be wanting to give away to your children. Uh, you don't want arguments over your baseball card collection or your engagement ring. So those are the types of things that we can talk about with our families. And we just make sure that everything goes smoothly when we're not here anymore. So what if you run into some hesitancy? You know, what if not everyone in the family is on board with this kind of discussion? Well, that's something that we do for our company. We actually have that discussion with the families for our clients. So we'll bring everybody into the conference room and we'll say, hey, this is what mom and dad want. This is how things are gonna, uh, gonna go. This is what you're getting, not getting, that kind of thing. So um, you know, we actually do that for our clients, but it doesn't have to be uncomfortable. It can just be a, a, a great legacy plan for the family to understand this is how our family legacy is gonna be, and this is what we want. What kind of time do you think people need to put aside for some kind of discussion like this around the holidays? Well, it doesn't have to be long, um, but it's going to have to be a continual conversation because obviously things change as time goes on. But look, you could do it in 15, 20 minutes, a half hour. It doesn't have to take up all day. And it can just be just a small single part of your morning or afternoon uh, during the holiday season. Well, something most people wouldn't think about. So we appreciate you for coming on and talking to us about it. Tom O'Connell, thank you. President and Managing Principal of International Financial Advisory Group. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me.